Hey guys, Wonder North here, and this is episode one of the Let's Play series I'm going to be doing for the game Project Hospital. So in this game, you pretty much create a hospital and run it from like a management point of view. Now, uh, how we're going to start is right over here, there's two things. Treat one patient and open in an emergency clinic. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Over here, here's the different kinds of, I guess, parts of the hospital. You have the emergency, radiology, and intensive care, and so on and so forth. So right now, all we can really do is emergency, and it's the clinic part. Over here, I guess this is like more of the hospitalization. So you have rooms, stretchers, but we can't even go here yet. I'm just, just talking, because this is unlocked by completing insurance company objectives. Now the insurance companies are right here and this is what they want us to do. So, yeah. So anyway, the first thing we need to do again is open emergency. So over here, this is the emergency clinic and this is what we need. A waiting room, doctor's office, a restroom, corridors, reception. I'm like, assuming the ones in red are the must-haves to just get going uh, to get our clinic up and running then we'll eventually need a lab clean closet and a common room for the staff so first things first we need a foundation that's over here now how big do we want this okay so the side there's some sidewalk maybe just the whole parking lot like this Or should we go right to the edge? No, we'll keep it like that. Spend a little bit more. Let's kind of get our first little square going. Ooh, this is expensive. Maybe I should slow it down a bit. So let's have something like that. Okay, so usually right when you walk in to the hospital, there's like a waiting room. So, I'm going to do that, kind of place it. I want it kind of big. that work? And then after you place a zone, so waiting room zone here, it says what you need to get the zone up and running. So we need benches, an info TV, TV and a Q machine. Let's get some benches. I'm gonna throw some down like this, and then I will. <laughs> I guess I gotta build some walls. Outside, we'll do some brick. Can't see anything. Let's lower the walls here. There we go. And then you need doors. Which ones? Uh, let's do double sliding doors. A little hospital logo on there. Uh, that's good. Something like that. So they're walking, you're walking right into the waiting area. What else do we need? Q machine. Maybe like here? Oh, need walls. Uh, maybe a little cramped, but that's fine. This, like that. Huh. I want them turned around. I do something like this? There we go. And like that, do like a long row facing that way maybe. That's a lot of chairs. Okay, get some walls back up. How do 
I want to do this. So there's... We got the waiting room. Now, doctor's office. That's a must-have, so let's throw that down. Doctor's office. How big they actually need to be. Four by six? Oh, well, before we put the walls up, make sure everything fits okay. There's that. Medical light goes on top. Need a desk. Make it dark color. Like that. Needs a chair. I'm just going to turn the color white. Oh, it's pretty neat. Kind of matches. Needs a printer. Computer. Bio has been. I'll fit right there. That works. Oh, actually, I am going to put up some more walls here. And an inside wall. It should work. Should be enough room to fit everything in. Nah. There. I test. It, there works for me. Uh, let's do a fancy chair. Because when you walk in. Assuming the patient will can sit in this chair, the doctor's in his chair and starts discussing what the issue is. Uh, and that can go there. I'll throw in that corner. This go on top of here. Okay. Wants a table. That. There we go. Our first doctor's office. Nice. Fits really good. Oh, yeah. I guess we need a door. Oh, with a window. Yeah. Like that. Our waiting room is pretty huge. Now that we have that wall, we can put the info screen. There. That. There we go. That works. Now what else do we need for our clinic? Restroom. Restrooms are a must-have. I wouldn't mind a... Let's do a reception area. Before we put the washrooms, so maybe I'll put the washrooms over here. But I want a reception area right close to the waiting room. So let's go a little bit bigger than that. That looks good. What does this need? It needs, oh, it needs waiting chairs too. Okay, well, yeah, we'll do the reception desk. Little info sign kind of in the middle. And do this like that. Maybe that's good. Apparently wants it has to have a chair. Let me just do like that. Will that be sufficient for the chairs? It will be. It looks a little funky, but It works. That's all that matters. <laughs> Get the walls up. Get it a lot bigger than I really need to so far. I will put a wall behind this. That works. That'll be the where the nurse sits. I need a little chair here for some reason, so... Unless... I don't know that works. So how big do I want the hallway? Two, three? 
through the hallway will be like this, going down. And up. One, two, three. Like that. I get the money back because I made the foundation too big. Oops. I thought that would dynamite everything. I don't get money back. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't care if it looks a little weird. I don't get money back, so I'm not gonna start destroying a all the foundation that I'll eventually I will need. So that's gonna be the hallway. Is that the same? One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the same. And now I need washrooms. I'll put the washrooms here. How big do I need them? Restroom. Maybe like this. Okay, so we have to get toilets. Um, be a little bit bigger than I'd like. So I have it like that. Will this work? Will this work? Something like that. Then we'll get some sinks, two, and a hand dryer. I'll put walls around, do an outside wall with the brick. And I did see, there it is, restroom wall. Ooh, ooh no, 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 no. That will not do. Restroom wall. Oh, that's something. That works. A little small, but we don't have much money. Like, we gotta be careful with the money. Good enough for a washroom. Got everything we need. Hmm. Or should I say, screw it, make it bigger? Is there a trash can in here underneath the. Well, that works. That, that's fine. Okay. I guess we need to. What else do we need? We got the waiting room, doctor's office, restroom, corridor, and reception. We need to hire a doctor. General medicine, 49% and diagnosis. Uh, oh, she's really good. But expensive. We just go one down. We just go full board. I'll start with her. You're in there. Nice. Hospital now accepts patients. Uh, the hospital now has enough staff to accept first patients. First insurance companies are automatically contracted. Okay, but we do want a registered nurse who's going to be also be a receptionist. There we go. Okay. Let's unpause the game. There's our nurse. There's our doctor. A little weird with all the. Oh, I'm even finish off the. Okay, that that will be a. That will bother me a little bit. Let's at least close off our building. Okay, that's that's the least I can do. We don't have flooring. That looks really weird. And we need flooring. Here we go with. White tiles. How's that look? That's nice. Do it for all of this. 
Sure, that works. That's fine. The washroom. Do a small white ceramic tiles. There we go. And maybe a uh, tinted to the office. There we go. All right. Let's speed it up. Here comes our first patient. Uh, controlled by doctors. No, let's let's control our first patient. He's just gonna get a little ticket there. No, nope, and he is up because he's the only one in our little clinic. James Thomas, factory worker. Come on, Thomas, you're up. Where are you going? Oh, is there not enough room? I have to move that thing. But, uh, darn it. Okay, I'll, I'll move it. I want to see what's wrong with this guy. So he has three hidden symptoms. Karen, the doctor, will look into this. Uh, scheduled procedures have finished. So we interviewed him. The patient is waiting for you to plan another examination or select a diagnosis. Okay, so what should we do? He's fatigued. He has two other hidden symptoms. What's physical exam? Straight up physical exam. Take a seat there, James. Oh, here goes another guy. Who's this? Joseph Garcia. You are next. Oh, I gotta change this out because I want to control you. How come I can't control you? Huh? Oh, no time for Joseph. We got James. So I didn't do anything. We didn't find anything new, any new symptoms. Maybe let's check his temperature. Oh, he's talking to our nurse. Nice. We checked his temperature. Hopefully, we find something. Nothing. Yeah, our first patient's quite difficult. Check his neck. Touching of the patient's neck. Maybe. No, let's do that. A dongle. Palpitation. Come on, find something. But first, hang on here. This is. This is bugging me right here. This thing is impeding everyone's. Where they're gonna walk. Let's do it there. Then you check in at the nurse's desk. Yeah, let's do that. I'll be happy with that. So can I take control of this guy yet? I can. So he, he Joseph Garcia talked to the nurse. Ain't on James. Joseph Garcia talked to the nurse and said he had breathing problems or fever. So we're already our doctor will already know this info, thanks to our nurse. Nice. So James, we still haven't found anything. Uh, do an oral cavity inspection. I don't know what I'm doing. You're my first patient, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, give me another hidden symptom, please. Ooh, who's this? Peter Green. Guess you're gonna go talk to the nurse first. Really wish James did that. Hey, come on. We find something out. Oh my goodness. Let's check your neck. I'm gonna leave it sped up because this is getting ridiculous. Nothing. Uh, yeah, that, let's, we do the scope, okay, that's still nothing, let's get an allergy test, maybe you just have an allergy, sir, can we do it, 
Oh my god. <sighs> blood pressure. How's your blood pressure? My goodness. This is a fail for our first patient. Okay, check your nasal cavity. I think you're lying, sir. James, I think you're lying to us. You're fine. Holy cow! I'm running out of options to do here. What a terrible first patient. You suck. I'm... I will listen to your speech. Oh my god, it's just... We finally got somewhere. So, long reaction time. Evaluation. Ugh. Oh, we did it. Insomnia. Here's your sleeping drugs. My god, go home. James, there's your prescription. Yay, we made money. Oh my. Get out of here. You're, don't come back. Why don't you just tell me you couldn't sleep? Okay. Oh, who's this? Beard. Oh, he's controlled by doctor. I want to control it. Okay. Fever has got fatigue. Let's do a physical examination. Okay, so he has a headache. Headache, fever, and fatigue. Headache, fever, and fatigue. Um... Check his neck. Nothing. Let's listen to your speech. Oral? Sounds to me, fever, headache, and fatigue, like it's just a common cold. Check your chest. We got tons of people waiting. I should almost get another doctor. Nasal cavity inspection. Yeah, after this guy, I'm going to build another doctor's office. We have the cash. Oh, we did it. Nice. Hey, you just need some saline nasal spray there, sir. Go home. Peter Green. Okay, we have people waiting. Well, I'm gonna put the doctor on. Oops. Yeah, she's doing it herself. I'm thinking we can get, yeah, let's get another doctor because we are getting busy. Looks like I'll have to expand the foundation a bit. One of the doctors kind of down here. I don't know how much we'll need. But we will need a lab, and we can put the lab right here, close to the waiting room. But yeah, let's get the doctors down here. So this was one, two, three, four. There's three, add one more. That's good. Do the brick on the outside there. I know there's an outside wall too, but I can't even flip the camera. So I just leave it as a regular wall. Uh, like that. We'll close off the hallway. Get rid of that wall there. So our hallway will continue into there. Now. Clinic. We're making another doctor's office. Just like that. And I'm just going to... I could change the color of this too. I'm going to pretty much copy the the uh, the setup of this room because it worked out pretty well. That goes there. 
You need a medical light for the bed, a desk, sure, that color, do a nice chair, let's do a red one, at least switch up the colors, uh, do a red chair too, printer, and a PC, biohazard, I like it in that little corner there. Uh, yeah. Equipment. Let's put it there. That it works good. Works good there. Equipment table over there. Uh, eye test. I'll leave it in the same spot. This thing can go on top of there. We need CRP scan can go there. A disinfectant. Yeah, that's all we need. Let's put a door. That. Do we should we put windows? Last wall. Put that here. That. Some light in there. Maybe a little, yeah, a little window. Where the doctor is. But if they needed to, like, yeah, if you need to do a physical exam, you no one can see ya. Unless they really peer into her, but uh, I'm assuming no one will be like that. It's fine. Uh, now what? This was the doctor's office? Yes. Doctor's office flooring complete. Finish off the hallway. Oh, there was a, oh, there is a corridor. This is a corridor. It's also a corridor, and we need to hire a doctor. Um, She's crazy good. Let's put her in there. All right. We got another doctor's office. Look at that. We need to treat 10 patients a day. We are currently at three. Oh. You have a common cold. My treatment, rest. And you can get sent home. See you later, Garcia. Oh. No clear diagnosis. Uh, huh. We can't help you. We're sending you home. Because we have nothing to treat any of these. Or see if it is a broken or fracture in your femur or anything like that. We have no x-rays. Sorry. We sent him home. The two had to walk. Ah, that's not good. But we are making money. Two doctor's offices are working pretty good. I wonder if it would help if we had a lab. Because it is one of the things that we can do. Hmm. Let's... I say we do that. It expand the foundation. I don't know how big it needs to be. Let's do that for now. Let's get our lab going. Uh, like this, maybe? Let's see. That's cool. There's quite a bit of stuff to put in there. Okay. Can we make it a little bit bigger? One more? A little bit longer? Well, let's see how this goes. Uh, I like putting the desk first. Where is it? See it there. Get him an office desk. That's, uh, yeah, right there. 
Oops. Yeah. Okay. Not the desk. We can throw the chair on there. The PC. The printer. I have a lot of things that need to go on desks. That, that, that. That's a lot of desks, but we need them all. Stool, ooh, stool analyzer. RIA. Radio. What do do? Measure. Yeah, we need that. I don't know what it does, but put it in there. Sure. And do we need anything else? Glassware. Okay. Need a shelf. It's cool. Garbage can go beside the desk. Medical centrifuge. Look at that thing. Sample storage. Oh my goodness. We might have to expand this. Well, let's just expand it anyway. I could probably make it fit, but it's getting pretty tight. So, stat lab. Let's expand it like that. I know that will be enough so I can put up the walls. Like so. Then the door. I could have a window. Okay, lab sink. Uh, there, we have the room for it. And now we need a microscope. Let's put it on this little equipment table. There we go. Nice. We actually have a little bit. Oh, no. No, that's fine. I was going to put more random stuff in here, but it's pretty packed. So that's good. At least give them a little... Ooh, a clock. That'll actually be useful in a bunch of places. Sure. Throw a clock in there, and that works for me. More clock. Actually, a lot of plants. There we go. Spruce up the place a bit. do anything where did I see any machine one in the hallway a water dispenser there we go yeah that's pretty good now let's hire a right here technologist I guess he just has to be good at biochemistry 84% Joseph. A lot cheaper, but he's way better. Yeah. Nice. You're in, buds. Alright. So if you need any, like, blood tests or anything like that, our little clinic can do that now. Yeah, it's going good. Won't get our... Our 10 patients in a day. I think having a lab will help. Oh, we need a, a floor and looks terrible. Not even floor. I don't know what it is. Uh, we make it the same as a hallway or like the doctor's offices. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. And how about... We look after this guy. We, okay, we've had no luck taking control. And this is our best doctor we took control away from. But, doing it anyway. So she's interviewing while well, she already... Okay, chicken pox. That doctor is that good, we didn't even have to do anything. Chicken pox. Antivirals. We're going to give you that for a treatment. Now, send you home. Dana Scott. Boom. That's it. The clinic is closed for the day. Oh, clinic's open until eight, 1800. 
wonder if anyone else will come. Let's fast forward a bit. That's nice. Nice little clinic here. Nice compact. And with a full day with two doctors. I don't think we actually had a full day yet. This is still day number one. Yeah, day number one. So a full day with two doctors. I think we'll be able to get that 10, 10 patient goal. But anyway, I think that'll be it for this episode. We opened up our clinic, and the clinic hours are almost done. We failed on two people, mostly my fault. <laughs> well, one was my fault. The other one, we we can't do x-rays, so we didn't know if he actually had a broken joint. Okay, so that one was my fault. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, please give me a like. If you want to continue watching this series, uh, give me a subscribe to make sure you don't miss any. And yeah, that's it. We'll continue playing this game later on, and I hope to see you then. So see you guys later.